as I can remember. Uh, my grandfather and my late uncle and my great grandfather. I have memories of when I was like four or five years old, seeing my grand, my great grandfather and my grand uncle's carbon canoes, and being around our race canoes, our, our war canoe racing. In the village where we grew up in Nassalam, is it was huge for us to car or to to be canoe racers, right? So as a small boy, I seen that around, and and in our house we had canoes stored like in our house, single man canoes. And my late uncle, he started building canoes, and you know the canoes always been around our house and part of our life since I can remember. And as as I was raised by my grandparents, so a lot of the time spent was talking about canoes, designs, shapes, styles of canoes, and one I was younger and I first started racing. They brought me around to all the canoe builders, my family, and they introduced me to these canoe builders. And they said, you see this young man? Don't sell him a canoe, he's got a carver canoe. He can't buy a canoe, he's from a canoe building family. He has to learn how to carve canoes. When I was like 16, 17, I thought, how am I going to build? How am I going to carve a canoe? I had no idea. And uh, I helped build a few canoes with my late uncle, some race canoes. I was pretty much the, the laborer then, digging out and doing all the ground work. And then uh, just learning about how, how, how cedar, how to move cedar and stuff, and how to work with cedar with grain and stuff. And when I was, one day I just said to myself, I'm going to carve the canoe. And after I said it, I ended up doing it. I talked to old canoe builders that were around. And, they told me that all they can tell me is that you just have to go out there and do it. You just have to have the strength and the, the belief in yourself to, to bring the tree to life.